turn his gates with thanksgiving. Anybody want to give thanks this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody want to give thanks unto the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it, and they are saved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, he gave his life for you and for me. Jesus, the sweet Nazarene. I know that someday in glory, face I shall see.
worship him this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Anybody thank you for the blood this morning? That precious blood that flows from Calvary. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we're in your presence, let it rain, cause your rain to fall on me. Oh, we're in your presence, Lord, let it rain, hallelujah. Cause your rain to fall on me. Oh, open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Lord, In abundance and cause your rain. Anybody in the rain this morning? Fall on me. We in your presence. Somebody said, Let it rain. Let it rain. This morning, I wish somebody could praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah! We need a rain this morning. Hallelujah! To fall on me, open the floodgates. Oh. Come 
morning to you all. My name is Alison Graham and I'll be your moderator for today. Today is Palm Sunday and Palm Sunday commemorates the Christian belief in the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. According to Matthew 21 verse 5, it says, say to the daughter of Zion, behold your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey the fall of a beast of burden. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We'll invite the praise team to come back with our opening hymn, our devotional hymn, hymn 264, followed by the opening prayer by Brother Massino Williams. The scripture reading... St. Luke 23, 33 to 38 by Sister Herma Corbin and the welcome by Sister Joel Mackenzie. Please come in that order. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The hymn at the cross. Alas, and did my Savior bleed and did my suffering die.
Morning to everyone again. Praise God. Let us pray. Our Father, our God, our Savior, our Supreme King. At the cross, yes, the cross where you had died, we have first saw the light and the burdens of our hearts rolled away. It was there by faith we receive our sight. Lord, I know we are happy. We are happy, Lord, because we have you. Only you alone, God, we worship. Only you alone, Lord, we praise. Only you alone, Lord, we bow down before. We will not bow to any other God. We will not worship any other God but you. So as we come this morning, Lord, we come and we ask of your forgiveness from our sins, creating us this morning a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, a right spirit to worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, because your desire of us is that we will worship you in spirit and in truth. And so as we come this morning, we ask God that you will reach down your hands this morning and touch us. 
Lord, many of us have gone through the week. It wasn't a good week for many of us. But as we come this morning, oh God, we ask that you revive us. We come together, Lord, to worship you. And some of us need to be revived. Some of us need to be touched. Oh God, some of us need to be, oh God, quickened. Oh God, stir us up this morning that as we worship God, it will be true worship and we will worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask, dear God, that you will, oh God, bless this service this morning. Oh God, it is in your hands. We may plan programs, oh God, but God, you have the right, oh God, to turn it around. And so if you have to turn it around this morning, we ask that you will just go ahead and turn it around, Lord. We ask that you will bless, oh God, every heart this morning that are here. Everyone that are here this morning. That as the way we came, Lord, will not leave, oh God, that way. But we will receive something, oh God, from you. Even one word, oh God, to take us through this week. Lord, we call upon you and we ask of you to come by us this morning visit us this morning because we truly need a touch from you oh god we need to be revived we need to shout again we need to pray again we need to rejoice in you again lord and so this morning here we are oh god before you oh god we ask that you will just touch us in a special way hallelujah let your word go forth this morning with clarity and with power Oh, God, let your word pierce the heart, oh, God, of those who, God, need you in their life this morning. Oh, God, even on, 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 on YouTube, there are many out there, Lord God, that are watching our viewing this morning. They need a touch from you. Oh, God. And so this morning, I ask that your word will penetrate, oh, God, marrows, bone everywhere oh god in the life of your people this morning lord we thank you oh god that we can come before you and so therefore lord even the scripture oh god that is about to, to read we ask your lord god let at it as it been read this morning oh god that your word will pierce the heart of men that it will be so new to others oh god that someone heart will be touched by even the reading of your word this morning. Lord, we ask you now to take over. Take this service in charge. Oh God, all those who are here this morning, oh God, hallelujah, the speaker. Lord God, we pray that you will touch him in a special way. That when your word go forth, oh God, it will connect, oh God, to some heart. Oh God, or to the heart of your people. Choir. God, I place them in your hands this morning that as they sing, Lord, hallelujah, someone will receive a blessing and you will get the praise and the honor. Oh God, touch everyone this morning as we worship. We will worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, Lord, for hearing us and we leave everything in your hands in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the blessed Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Can we honor the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him some praise this morning because he's worthy to be praised. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Corbin at this time. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Please stand as we turn our Bibles to um, Luke 23, verse 33 to 38. I'll read and you follow. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there were crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. 
Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them deride him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. 38 and last, and a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin in Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. The Lord promised to add a rich blessing to the reading of his holy words from the all saying, Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. The pleasure is mine to welcome you all this morning. It is so good to be here in the house of the Lord another Sunday to praise and give him worship. I would first like to extend a warm welcome to our listeners on More FM and our viewers on YouTube. Thank you for worshiping with us every Sunday. Be blessed as you continue to worship in the virtual space. Let me also welcome Sister Janiel Taylor, who is visiting with us for the very first time. Can you please stand so we can acknowledge you? Everyone give her a round of applause, please. Thank you for coming. We are so happy to have you. And please remember that our doors are always open. You may have a seat. Okay, so now, can I please ask if you did not hear your name, if you are visiting with us for the first time, to please stand. No first time visitors? Okay. So I would now like to welcome a member or members who are away and now back, Sister Alicia Davis and family. Please make them feel welcomed. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for coming. We are so happy to have you. And again, our doors are always open. I would now like to extend a very warm welcome to our host pastor, the Reverend Ruel Robinson. Also to the speaker for today, Brother Burl Hilton. We pray that the Lord will use you in a special way. Next, let me welcome our church and pastors council, the choir, the ushers, musicians, and the praise and worship team who play such a vital role in our worship experience. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. May the Lord continue to use you to be a blessing. Finally, a very big welcome to all our members and visiting friends in the congregation who worship with us consistently. You are at the right place to receive a blessing. I hope you all enjoy the worship experience today. God bless you all. And now, I would like to invite back the praise and worship team to sing us a welcome song. Thank you. Have a good day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Come with power. Let's go. 
Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you are all feeling welcome in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We'll now have our pre-recorded announcement. Please listen. Greetings to God's wonderful people. These are the notices for Sunday, March 24, 2024. We ask you kindly to make notes where applicable. Greetings come to us from the following members who are vacationing overseas. Deacon Alan George Coswell, Sister Joyce Morris, Sister Daphne Chuck. Thank you. Sister Yvette Gale would like to thank Bishop Ruel Robinson and the entire church family for all the love, prayers, visits, and support she received during her time of bereavement. The family of Reverend Alfonso Barrett expresses thanks to Bishop Ruel Robinson and the entire church family for the prayers, visits, and support received during their time of bereavement. Couples Ministry Verse of the Month comes to us from Ecclesiastics 4, verse 11. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? Celebrations! Celebrating your birthday this week? Please stand. Happy birthday to this is your day from this day forward don't you stop having fun this is your day Celebrating your wedding anniversary this week? Please stand. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. On behalf of Bishop Ruel Robinson and the entire church family, we wish you a great day. To our viewers and listeners who are celebrating, stay blessed and enjoy your day. Mass choir practice will be held this Monday and Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Children's choir practice is held on Wednesdays at 4.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 1 p.m. The Montego Bay and St. James Life Builders Men's Ministry invites all married men to a power and knowledge seminar under the theme, Married Men Have Struggles Too, this Thursday, March 28th at 5.30 p.m. at the Montego Bay New Testament Church Hall. Guest presenter, Reverend Alton Thelwell. Married men, you cannot afford to miss this special session. The one in the middle save me What you say Jesus in the middle save me The Montego Bay New Testament Church of God presents a Good Friday concert this Friday March 29 It promises to be a spectacular event Please get your pre-sold tickets for $2000 or you will pay $2500 at the gate Children $1000 you cannot afford to miss it. The Rose Heights, Rosemount, and Farm Heights Cluster presents an evening of excellence prayer banquet under the theme, Anchored, Not Easily Shaken, on Monday, April 1 at 3 p.m. It's an all-white affair at the Montego Bay New Testament Church Hall. Special presenter, Sister Raquel Philborn Page. 
The cost per ticket is $5,000. You cannot afford to miss it. You may contact Sister Charmaine Williams and her team for tickets. National Youth Congress Leadership Conference will be held on Wednesday, April 3, starting at 9 a.m. at the Convention Center in Old Harbor. The registration fee is $3,000, inclusive of lunch. The 25th staging of the National Youth Congress will be from Friday, April 5 to Saturday, April 6. If you have not yet confirmed your attendance, please speak with your youth leader today. Harvest Sunday Thanksgiving service will be held on Sunday, April 7 in both services. The Narwood New Testament Weekend Crusade under the theme Jailbreak concludes this evening starting at 6.30 p.m. under the Big White Gospel Tent. The Glendevon New Testament Church will be having their choirs in praise under the theme Rekindling the Power of Pentecost Through Praise on Sunday, April 7 at 7 p.m. Contribution, $300. Tickets are available at the church office. The retirement service for Reverend Kenneth Smith will be held here on Sunday, April 14 at 5 p.m. We are approaching the end of another church year. Persons desirous of working in different ministry areas are asked kindly to pick up an inquiry form at the usher's desk and complete it. Persons interested in being a part of the church made Sagicor insurance plan may contact Sister Yvonne Panther Roll. Existing members, please be reminded that your payment becomes due on April 30, 2024. Rallies. The Flanka New Testament Church of God Rally will be held on Tuesday, April 9 at 7 p.m. Contribution, adults, $300, and children, $100. The Norwood New Testament Church of God Ladies Ministry presents their First Ladies Rally 2024 under the theme, Arise in Worship under the Big Gospel Tent on Tuesday, April 30 at 6.30 p.m. Contribution, adults, $300, and children, $100. Debts. The funeral services for Sister Ioni Barton and the granddaughter of brother and sister Denval Ellis will be announced in subsequent notices. We continue to pray for our members and friends who have lost loved ones so usual way. Blessings for the weak come to us from Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Thank you for listening. Have a God-blessed day and a God-blessed week. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Are you still here? Hallelujah. Our declaration of faith is what the New Testament Church of God believes in. Please stand as we repeat saying. We begin. We believe in the verbal inspiration of the Bible. In one God, eternally existing in three persons, namely the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father, conceived of the Holy Ghost, and born of the Virgin Mary. That Jesus was crucified, buried, and raised from the dead. That he ascended to heaven, and is today at the right hand of the Father as the intercessor that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and repentance is commanded of God for all 
and necessary for forgiveness of sins. That justification, regeneration, and the new birth are wrought by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. In sanctification, subsequent to the new birth, through faith in the blood of Christ, through the word, and by the Holy Ghost. Holiness to be God's standard of living for his people. In the baptism with the Holy Ghost, subsequent to a clean heart. In speaking with other tongues, as the Spirit gives utterance, and that is the initial evidence of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. In water baptism by immersion, and all who repent should be baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Divine healing is provided for all in the atonement, in the Lord's Supper, and washing of the saints' feet, in the premillennial second coming of Jesus, first to resurrect the righteous dead, and to catch away the living saints to him in the air, second to reign on the earth a thousand years, in the bodily resurrection, eternal life for the righteous, and eternal punishment for the wicked. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Can we shout hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. It's now time for worship and giving. We'll invite the ushers to come and also the praise team. I'm going to invite Sister Marva Lawson Byfield to come and bless the morning's offering. Let us pray. Our gracious God, what a friend we have in you, all our sins and griefs to bear. We want to thank you, Almighty God, that we have come into your house one more Sunday morning. It is one more Sunday morning out of the rest of our lives, and we give you praise. We want to thank you for your words. You tell us when we come into your house, we must bring an offering. So we have brought back a portion of what you have blessed us with in honor to your words. We thank you, Almighty God, that you gave us health and strength so we could work. And so we honor you with our substance this morning. As your people give, we want to thank you that you'll give back to them good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Thank you for the givers in the house. Thank you for the givers online. We thank you, mighty God, for the harvest. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Sons of God arise from the ends of the earth. Arise, fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your feet. Sons of God arise, sons of God arise from the ends of the earth. To the enemy 
now time for the word. Our, our very able brother, Burl Hilton, will be our speaker for today. I have known him for over 25 years. A very humble individual. He's a teacher by profession. He will bring the word to you. And I hope that today as he imparts his words to you. It will touch some part of your life and your life will never be the same. We invite the men of Valor Choir to minister immediately after the choir ministers. 
I'm going to ask you to stand as we received the man of God, Brother Burl Hilton, the choir at this time. Hallelujah.
is calling for the motherless and the fatherless too with no brother or sister to care for you Jesus died on the cross to tell you for your sins yes he said come come to Tell let me ask Brother Garvin Atkinson to utter a word of prayer. Almighty Creator God, we come this morning in your house. In your house is healing. In your house is deliverance. Here is your manservant that you have chosen today to deliver your word. Almighty creator God, in the name of Jesus Christ, touch his lips this morning with fire of coal. He will not speak his word, but your word. He will speak thus said the Lord. And God Almighty, as he opens his mouth, and as he deliver your word, Almighty God, deliverance will come to those who need deliverance in sickness, for, for sickness in body, mind, and spirit. Those who are bounded will be delivered. Chains will be broken. And God Almighty, when they should leave these doors of this building, your temple, they will never be the same. Those who are online, God Almighty, you are omnipresent. So touch them as a servant of God. Deliver your word. Let healing, let victory let deliverance come forth mightily because you're the God of everything. You're the God of this earth. And nothing is above you because you have the world in your hand. Thank you, Master. Touch your servant one more time, Father, and give him a word. A word that he will speak, thus said Almighty God. Cover him comprehensively from head to toe this morning. Hallelujah. Let preaching be easy and let clarity come forth like never before in the mighty, all-powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And let the congregation say, Amen. Amen. 
Let me greet you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. For those online, greetings to you. Council members, choir, I say greetings. Today is a very special day. It is celebrated as Palm Sunday, my brothers and sisters. We have a lot to give God thanks for. Can I hear you say amen? amen. It is only because of the blood of Jesus Christ why I am here, why we are here. We were nothing, absolutely nothing. But when we went to the cross, it made all the difference. It doesn't matter your educational experiences or how you were brought up. But it's when we went to the cross of Jesus Christ that made the difference. My topic to you this morning is remembering the old rugged cross. Remembering the old rugged cross. The text that was read was Luke 23, 33 to 38. I also want to touch Galatians 6, verse 14. My brothers and sisters, when we think of Calvary, we cannot forget the cross, the symbol of Christianity. If you should look behind me up there, there's a cross. During my short period, I wanted to focus on the cross. The song that was penned, I am ashamed if I forget Calvary. I don't know if the singers know it, but maybe in the congregation. On Mount Calvary, Jesus suffered for me. And the hands pierced by the nails should have been mine. It should have been mine. I'm ashamed when I grumble. I'm ashamed when I complain. I'm ashamed if I forget Calvary. I don't know if the singers know it. On Mount Calvary, Jesus suffered for me, and his hands pierced by the nails should have been mine, should have been mine. I'm ashamed when I grumble. I'm ashamed when I complain. I'm ashamed if I forget Calvary. On Mount Calvary, Jesus suffered for me, and his hands pierced by the nails should have been mine, should have been mine. I'm ashamed when I grumble. I'm ashamed when I complain. I'm ashamed when I forget Calvary. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burden found liberty at Calvary. Can we hold it again for me? On Mount Calvary. Jesus suffered for me, and the hands pierced by those nails should have been mine, should have been mine. I'm ashamed when I grumble. I'm ashamed when I complain. I'm ashamed. Can I hear the church shout hallelujah this morning? Can I hear you shout hallelujah? For well, us as Christians, the cross represents a defining moment in the history when Jesus laid down his life as the sacrificial lamb, taking the punishment we deserve upon ourselves. It should have been us, my brothers and sisters. But Jesus Christ took our place. And that is the reason why we are here this morning. It is the reason why we're here. Because we went to the cross. 
The cross was one of the most cruelest form of execution ever devised by man. Very cruel. To be beaten with leather thongs embedded with melted and pellets that could cut the bones. Nails driven in the flesh, a crown of thorns on the head. Oh, such agony. Oh, such agony. That should have been me. It should have been you. It should have been us. But Jesus Christ took our place. Can you imagine being nailed on a cross? Hands, feet, crown of thorns with dripping blood. Just picture that, my brothers and sisters. All because of us. Us, my brothers and sisters. Shall we bless the Lord? Can you imagine us in that position this morning? Christ buried it all for us. I should have been crucified. I should have hung on the cross. But Jesus, God's son, took my place. I was nothing. I was like a worm, as the song says, a worm like I. But Jesus stood in my place. Galatians 16, verse 14, my brothers and sisters, depicts Paul in his writing. And it says, But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. Paul had much that he could boast about. My brothers and sisters, many of us boast about our possession. We boast about our education. We boast about material things. But brother Paul boast about the cross. I glory in the cross. Because it's the cross that made the difference in his life. He was a brilliant man, you know. Paul had much that he could boast about. He was the greatest missionary. He was a full-blooded Jew of the tribe of Benjamin. Yet his preaching was the cross of Jesus Christ. Us as Christians today should emulate that example, my brothers and sisters. If anything that we should boast about is our salvation. The day when the Lord Jesus Christ transformed our lives. Can you remember that day? Can you remember that night? Can you remember that hour? I didn't get saved in the church, my brothers and sisters. Maybe it was a street meeting at the amphitheater. Those are your Montagonians. I came here many years ago. I was passing, but I had other motive. I was a student in college, but my intention was to follow a young lady. Yes. And when I reached the amphitheater, my brothers and sisters, it was a Baptist Youth for Christ DJ mission, Discover Jesus mission, that the Spirit took a hold of me. And I fought bitterly. But I found myself at the altar. And that was a defining moment for me. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burdens of my heart rolled away. Come on, preach to me. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now, are you happy this morning? Let me hear you shout a hallelujah. Another time. Let me hear you shout it again. Now, my brothers and sisters, Paul gloried in the cross because it is the only way to salvation. The way of the cross leads to salvation. We have to go the way of the cross. This is Christianity. It is the way of the cross that, we, that leads to salvation, my brothers and sisters. Paul gloried in the cross because it guarantees eternal life. All of us, my brothers and sisters, we want to inherit eternal life. Can I hear you say amen to that? And if we come here and we did not reap that, then we are in serious trouble. We are in serious trouble. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. When I look at the cross, it shows the depth of our sin. It shows 
that I was a sinner. We were born in sin. We were shaped in iniquity. But he was wounded from my transgressions. He was bruised from my iniquity. The chastisement of peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are, and I hear you say amen. amen. We like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. But the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Many of us, such were we, my brothers and sisters. Such were we, but thank God for the cross that makes the difference in our lives. You know where you are coming from. You know what you used to do. But today, we can lift our hands and say, thank God for the cross. Thank God for saving grace. Thank God for Calvary. I am not the same that I used to be. Let us praise him this morning, my brothers and sisters. Let us praise him again. Jesus turned the cross from a symbol of guilt into a symbol of glory. From a beam of execution into a balm of salvation. Remember, those of you who know, the cross was for criminals, my brothers and sisters. But Jesus Christ transformed the cross when he went on the cross. It becomes a balm of salvation. That's why we can sing, I will cherish the old rugged cross. Come on, till my trophies. Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear you, my brothers and sisters. I will cling and exchange it. That is what we want. We want a crown. I will cling. Though life gets very hard, my brothers and sisters, things might be tough, but onward Christian soldiers marching on with the cross of Jesus going on before. Hallelujah. Though times get hard, crime, everything around us, confusion. Leaders are in confusion, but we we are soldiers of the cross, my brothers and sisters. And we are marching to victory. We are marching. We are not going to lay down the cross, my brothers and sisters. We are going to stand. Remember, I'm telling you, I'm taking us back to the old rugged cross. It made a difference in our lives. It is of paramount importance, my brothers and sisters. Once you have been to the cross, you'll never be the same again. There has to be transformation. There has to be change, my brothers and sisters. To the old rugged cross, I will ever be true. It's shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he calls me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. And I hear you bless the Lord. Come on. His glory forever I will share. My brothers and sisters, I encourage us this morning to continue in the faith. Continue. It doesn't matter what comes our way. Sometimes we are criticized and we are ostracized as Christians. But we have to hold on to the cross. We can't give up, my brothers and sisters. Oh, what a love. Jesus died for me. A love. A love. I cannot comprehend this love. But we know that Christ loved us. Right? And if we check our hymnal, we will see this song. Oh, love of God. Oh, rich and pure. How measureless. It shall forever the saints and ages sing. Could be with ink, the ocean, and you name it. You know the song very well. Not even the scrolls could write the love of Christ. Christ loved us so much, my brothers and sisters. And he behoves us 
to do the same to our brothers and sisters. When we go to the cross, we will not hate my brothers and sisters. We will love, we will demonstrate love. We will demonstrate the fruits of the Spirit when we visit the old rugged cross. Yes, we will love our brothers and sisters. We will give, we will care about each other, my brothers and sisters, because we have gone to the old rugged cross, and it makes the difference in our life. And I hear you bless the Lord. The cross makes a difference in our lives. This is the only way, my brothers and sisters, to salvation. So we have to keep on going on. We will not give up. We are soldiers in battle, my brothers and sisters. We are on a battlefield. The devil wants to destroy us. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we hold to the cross. We kneel at the cross. And we take our burdens to the old rugged cross. Yes, my brothers and sisters. So in this season, we should be in a reflective mood this morning. As we remember Palm Sunday. When the same persons who celebrated Jesus turned around. They were hypocrites. They turned around and said, crucify him. Give us Barabbas. Crucify him. This morning we don't want to crucify Jesus. We want to glorify him this morning. We want to, he's king of kings and he is lord of lords. Let us glorify him this morning, this Palm Sunday. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. He's our all in all. We have known when everything has failed. He is our giver. He's our source. He's everything to us, my brothers and sisters. There's no other way. When you don't have no money, everything fail. We have Jesus. We have hope. Hope is a thing. Hope thou in Christ. Yes, my brothers and sisters. When you feel down and out, think about Jesus. Think about the cross. It makes a difference. Yes, when everything fail you, family fail you, friends fail you, Jesus Christ never fails. He never fails. Hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I am a proud believer, a proud Christian this morning because we could have gone elsewhere. We could have died. We could have been buried. We could, as Pastor always said, we could have been in the garbage van. When I pass on the street and see, see, oh my, people in the dunghill, I say, thank God for the old rugged cross. It makes a difference. So it doesn't make sense with bows and pop style. No. Let us be humble ourselves. And had it not been for the cross, we would have been worse off, my brothers and sisters. Yes. So let us remain faithful. Let us stand up firm in the word. And don't give in. Don't give in to the devil. Because he is trying in these days to destroy, to destroy believers. We are in serious times, my brothers and sisters. I will not divert, but we need to follow the news and see what is happening around, my brothers and sisters. I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow I might not be here. You might not be here, my brothers and sisters. But let us continue to remain faithful. Yesterday we, we, we talked about death. And sometimes I, I, we have to realize that we are, we are only temporary here, my brothers and sisters. We are only here for a while. And as we get older, we should draw nearer to the cross. Nearer to the cross, my brothers and sisters. Because tomorrow will not be here. And we know that after death, there is the judgment. And we don't want to come to church over and over and end up not gaining eternal life. Yes. So we will not allow anything to stop us. No obstacles. No hurdles. Let us jump over these hurdles, my brothers and sisters. If you fall, don't get up back and run 
I'm somebody who likes sports. I love sports. Yes, it is a part of my system. Yes, and you see at times the athletes, they run, they run, they fall down, but they get up. It's a journey we are on. And if we fall down, we have to get up and run to the finishing line. It's not to go faster, it's endurance. Yes, my brothers and sisters. I don't know why I break off this, but this is it. We are in a battle. A serious battle, my brothers and sisters. And we must become victorious. But only through Jesus Christ that we are going to be victorious. We cannot give up. No, we reach too far to give in, my brothers and sisters. Yes, so this morning behoves us to stand up. Stand up for Jesus. He soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner. Must not suffer long. Can I invite you to stand at this moment, my brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, singers, choristers. At the, at the cross, cross, at the, the cross, cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. Oh, it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let we bless him this morning. Hallelujah. Let we bless him again. Hallelujah. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. As we are winding down this morning, there might be persons here who have not gone to the old rugged cross. Our the road is too tough for you. You are stumbling. You are falling apart. But let me say, kneel at the cross this morning. Christ will meet you there. Kneel at the cross. Christ will meet you there this morning. My brothers and sisters, let us continue to pray for each other. Let us continue to encourage each other as we are on a journey, an eternal journey, and we don't want to be left behind. God bless you. God bless you. The cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. He was there by faith. I received my sight and now I am happy all the Hallelujah. 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 
remembering the whole rugged cross. Hallelujah. And if it was not for the cross, we would not be here. We thank God for the servant of God who has delivered the word today. Did you get a word about remembering the cross? The cross brings salvation. Without salvation, because there has to be a savior for us to have salvation. And that savior went to the cross. And because of that cross, we have salvation. Because of salvation, we have eternal life. And then the debts of our sin were paid when Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross. The cross provides healing because one of the tenets of our faith, healing is provided for all in the atonement, the atonement of the blood of Jesus Christ. Symbol of guilt. Jesus took on the world, the sins of the world. So the cross was a symbol of guilt, but it was also a symbol of victory because after the cross, he rose triumphantly from the dead. The pastor, the preacher reminds us today to cling to the cross for a crown. Jesus wore a crown of thorns he bled. But when we accepted the cross and the savior of the cross, the cross of the crown turned to the cross of gold. Do you want a cross of gold today? Remembering the whole rugged cross. The cross provides transformation, the pastor said. Once you met Jesus, your life can never be the same again. And when you get to the whole rugged cross, we have the fruit of the Spirit. And it symbolizes love. Oh, what a love. Oh, what a love that Jesus would die on the cross. And then, deliverance at the cross. It was at the cross that our sins were nailed. If it was not for the cross, we would not be here today. So, put your hands together for the preacher. Who remind us so much of the whole rugged cross. Today is Palm Sunday, as was said earlier on. It's the beginning of the Holy Week. Jesus Christ would have entered Jerusalem, the king coming humbly on a donkey, and there was shout of Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, and they would have took their garments and laid it for Christ to ride upon. Then as we travel on in the week, we would have gotten the last supper. And we would have seen Judas set up himself to sell the Lamb of God for 30 pieces of silver. And he said to the persons from the Sanhedrin council, whoever I kiss, that is the one. And then we would have seen Jesus as we walked down memory lane. He would have been taken in the garden of Gethsemane, where he was. And Peter, at that time, cut off the servant's ears. But Jesus restored. And they would have carried him to the hall of Pilate. And they tell so many lies on him, yet he opened not his mouth. And when there was asked, who should we release? Barabbas or Christ they choose Barabbas and they said crucify him crucify him and he bore the cross to Calvary he was beaten he was spit upon yet he bore the cross because that's the reason why he came and when he was on the cross he was nailed to the cross 
he was pierced. And when, although he was God, but yet human, and when he could not take it no more, he said, Heloi, Heloi, la basa basani, which is interpreted, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He couldn't have taken it no more. He bowed his head and he died. And when the soldiers went around, the scriptures were fulfilled. Not one of my bones will be broken. When they reached, they realized that he was dead. So they did not break his bones. What they did, they used the sword to pierce his side. And out of that side came forth blood and water. The blood of Jesus. The cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was at the cross where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart rolls away. As we close off today. Have you been to Calvary? Have you met Christ Jesus? Have you been to Calvary for that cleansing? If you are in the house today and you have not been to Calvary, could you please come? Could you please come? Because in the cross of Calvary, there is healing. The pastor preached it. There is deliverance. There is atonement. There is forgiveness. There is salvation. And most importantly, there is eternal life. If you are sick this morning and you're in the house, there is healing at the cross. If you are sick in body this morning, could you come? Let us pray. Could you come this morning? Could you come this morning? Is there a problem that is getting you down and you don't know how to solve it? Come to the cross this morning. There is victory in the cross this morning. When everything else fails, that old rugged cross never fail. Because on that cross of shame was a cross of victory and deliverance. Come this morning to that whole rugged cross. And when you come to that whole rugged cross, you can never be the same. Because in that whole rugged cross is victory, is healing. Go ahead. Will you just come this morning? Hallelujah. journeys to the cross and he was nailed and he died the devil thought that he won because he died but come Sunday morning the first day of the week hallelujah he took the keys of death and hell and he rose triumphantly from the dead and Jesus declared all, not some, all power is given unto me, both in earth and in heaven. Hallelujah. And he would have said to his disciple, greater things you will do that, than what I have done. So when the devil thought, oh yes, I had him. He's now dead. They would have put soldiers at the tomb of Jesus because they said, pray adventure. They said he rose from the dead. And when the Holy Spirit of God came and Jesus rose triumphantly, they were like dead men. Sunday morning, 
came victory, the cross of shame, now become the cross of victory. And we realize that on Good Friday, when the veil of the temple was rent in two, meaning people of God, we have full access to the throne of Almighty God. No longer you have to wait on the priest or the pastor for access. You had full access. It was a symbolism when that veil was rent, when the most holy of holy was sh sh shattered, meaning you have full access. So you come this morning, there is victory in Jesus. And let me tell you as we are going to pray, faith is what you need this morning. Because I can pray and nothing happen. But if you touch Calvary this morning by faith, it is well. It is well. Touch Calvary, hallelujah, by faith this morning. And you will never be the same. Shackles will be broken. Cancer will be dried up. God Almighty, all those elements that have bind you, chains will be shattered. Because Calvary is still powerful. It will never lose its power. So this morning, we are going to pray. Don't matter what it is. The Lord is able. The resurrected Jesus is here this morning. The Spirit of God is here this morning. Release your faith this morning, people of God, and deliverance shall be yours. Because there is deliverance in the cross of Christ. Praise him one more time at the cross, at the cross. Hallelujah. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rose away. Hallelujah. Oh, it was there. By Hallelujah. My faith, I received my sight, and now I am happy all the way. One more time at the cross. The cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rose away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty creator God. We come this morning in no other name but in the almighty powerful resurrected name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord God almighty we remember Calvary this morning because Calvary makes the difference. In Calvary there is victory. In Calvary, there is healing. In Calvary, there is eternal life. Because Jesus Christ shed his blood on Calvary. And because of that whole rugged cross, we come this morning. Here are your people. They come with myriads of problems. God Almighty, some have aches and pains. Doctor cannot find the complaint. But God, nothing take you by surprise. You are all knowing this morning. So God Almighty, this morning, all the aches and pain that your people have gathered at the altar are suffering. I come against it by the blood of Jesus this morning. And I declare this morning, those pain be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. Some have some situation, God, financial situation. But you went to Calvary for that too. You say you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. Lord God, I pray a divine favor over your children. God, they will know no lack as of today. You will continue to provide for them. Father, where the need is greatest, you will be their provider. Let them realize that you are their God and they are your children. And because they are your children, children, God, you would have said 
I will provide for you. God provide for them this morning. Hallelujah. Some of our members, some of our people standing at the altars are bound by certain situations. But God, you are the breaker of chain this morning. God Almighty, whatever I've bound them this morning, by the blood of Jesus, we loose them and set them free in the name of Jesus. Lord, spousal problem. God Almighty, family is important to you. So God, I ask you that you will put back the family together again. Where there is brokenness, mend the broken family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, lupus, high blood pressure. God, we come against that in the name of Jesus. God, some of your people here, they are trying and they can't seem to make it. God, they're wondering why can't there be a breakthrough for me. But God Almighty, by the name of Jesus, every generational curse, we stop it now with the blood of Jesus. And we declare victory over their lives in the name of Jesus. Cover your people, Lord. Bless them abundantly. Almighty creator God. Some are wondering where the school fee is coming from for their children. But God, you are the great provider. A cattle and a thousand hill belongs to you this morning. So cover your people. Bless them abundantly. Lord, at the altar this morning, there have some who have not yet visited Calvary. They have not known you as Lord and Savior of their lives. I pray for them this morning that God, if they have not known you, God Almighty, let them realize that there is no life without you. Because it is in Calvary that they are going to be delivered. It is in Calvary that they are going to have eternal life. It is in Calvary that we have salvation. So for the unsaved this morning, come to Calvary this morning where you can be delivered. I pray this morning that they will not leave the altar. But God, they will come to a conclusion that I need to give my life to you before it is too late. Men are dying, women are dying, children are dying. You do not know when your time will come. And without Jesus is eternal domination. Give your life to the Lord today. Lord, I pray that they will not go home the same way that they have come. Lord, they might be wondering and saying, but I'm living with somebody. Don't worry about that. Give your life to Jesus. Is, is Mr. Fix-It. He will fix it for you. Nothing take him by surprise. Just lay it all on the altar. And God will work it out for you. The most important thing is to give your life to the Lord. And let him do the rest. Cover your people. Bless them this morning, I pray. And Father, every situation that they have walked out of their seat by faith. And come to the altar this morning. Their needs will supply. Bless them, Lord. Cover them, I pray, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. And God Almighty, when they should have leave this door, they will never be the same. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Devil, you're a liar in the name of Jesus. This young lady I've just dropped. I curse you, demon, in the name of Jesus. I curse you, demon, in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever, whatever is binding her, God, we come against it now, and we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. We send you back to the pit of hell. And we declare victory for your daughter. Because at the cross of Calvary, there is victory. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. She will not faint again. Fainting spell of demon. I send you back to the pit of hell. Release your daughter and set her free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, I am. Maranda. Mama, see, Oh, 
Demons from hell. This is the church of Almighty God. And you take yourself and come in here. You are bright. I send you back to the pit of hell. Release your daughter now. God, release your daughter. And set her free. I plead the blood of Jesus. Father, every doors that have been open for demonic attack, I close them now in the name of Jesus and set your daughter free. Hallelujah. 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 Give me your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church of God, clap your hands. Clap your hands for victory. Clap your hands for victory. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for victory. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Rebendo. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Ray, I'm a son. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Sekoria.
Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are here this morning at the altar and you have not met Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we want to pray for you. We want to call you. We want to communicate with you. I'm going to ask you to sit right over there. Someone will take your name and we'll call you and we'll pray for you. My daughter, go in peace. Give your life to the Lord. Every open doors that you have opened, shut them. There will be no more fainting spell. The Lord God Almighty is here. The Holy Spirit is here. He loves you with an everlasting love. Give your heart to the Lord today. And every forces of darkness that would want to take you out of this world, they have left you. But do not open any more doors for them to come to you. Give your heart to the Lord. And watch him work miracles and miracles on your behalf. Could you just sit over there? And somebody will come and take your name. Could you accompany her, please? In the name of Jesus. Those of you who want to go back to your seat, you could you go back to your seat. But if you want to meet the Lord, just sit over there. Someone will come and take your name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it up for the, pa uh, for the preacher again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so this morning we have some prior requests. We have Sister Robina Wilson. She's not feeling well. And she craved for her prayers today. The Reed's family. Michael, Michael and Shane Reed. They will be leaving the island today. No, this week, sorry. Not today. Shanice. Michael and Shanice. And they need our prayers. Can I invite them to come to the altar? If you are in the house, could, could you please come to the altar, please? And then, people of God. We are going to pray for the residents of Flower Hill. They are under gun attack. We are going to pray for the people of Flower Hill. Because they are under gun attack. The enemy must know that God is in control. We are soldiers in the army. And one thing with the church. The church is fighting in victory. Because we have a savior who have never lost a battle. So gunmen must put down their guns. And if they won't put down their guns, we serve notice to them this morning that if they do not change from their evil ways, they are going to die. But we ask Almighty God that they will see themselves and they will change from their wicked ways. They will heed to the power of Almighty God and they will change their ways. It's coming up to Sunday school time and I want to be on time for Sunday school. But before I pray, let me tell you, in our prayers sometimes, we pray that God will change the hearts of men and women who do wickedly. But go to David, the friend of God. Sometimes we have to pray some warfare prayer. And we can't pray some normal prayer. We have to pray some warfare prayer. And say, God! Let them have their Damascus experience. But if they harden their heart, remove them from the face of the earth. We have to be radical because we ask for mercy. But sometimes they don't have no intention for change. But God can't do anything. So we pray that God will save them and the shooting will stop. And God's people will live in peace. But we pray for the violent person who is calling the violence that they will cease from their ways and turn to God Almighty this morning. Let us pray. Eternal God is our refuge and strength. Lord, we look to you this morning from whence cometh our help. Here is the Reed family. They will be leaving the island. God, we ask for a safe flight. Lord, wherever their abode is, you will be with them. Because 
You are God of the entire earth. So wherever they go, you are with them. Cover them. Favor them in the name of Jesus. Father, wherever go, they go. Yes, your supernatural favor will rest upon them. Lord, open doors for them. Give them favor that they know not of. Because favor come from Almighty God. And when you favor them, they are well favored. Bless them, God. Bless them individually. Bless them collectively. Bless their extended family. Cover them comprehensively under your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Here are your people that have gathered this morning. I pray, God, that you will cover this family comprehensively under your blood. Lord, you know their needs. You know, God, everything about them. And you declare that all your needs. All right. So this is the Reeds family. They are the ones that are leaving. Cover them comprehensively. And they are leaving too. So people are migrating. Lord, be the pilot of that flight. Cover them comprehensively under your blood. And Father, you will bless them. Take them too. And God, if it is your will for them to come back, then your will be done. But whatever you sanction for them, it is well sanctioned. Cover them comprehensively. The Bonics, they are traveling to be with them. Bless them. And Father, give them your supernatural favor. As we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless the Lord. Now you are some bottles of olive oil. We consecrate it now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And whatever it was intended for, that when they use it, God, they will get healing. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. All right, let me just quickly wrap up. Remember that... That this week... We have Friday is our Good Friday concert. We ask that you support it. Next Monday, the Farmites group will be putting on their evening of elegance. We need to support it as a church family as we work together for God's wonderful people. And remember that rally has been launched, and so we have the rallies of the cluster that means you need to re be working in your respective cluster. And on April 7th, not Sunday coming, but the next Sunday, there will be harvest. And yes, Good Friday, we will have Good Friday morning service. What time, Sister T? At 6 o'clock, there will be, a, at Friday is Good Friday, because remember I said we enter Holy Week. So 6 o'clock, Friday morning, Good Friday, will be Good Friday service right here at 3 water lane as we come to worship the Lord. 6 a.m. All right. Could you just stand because it's time for Sunday school? Raise your hands. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace both now and forevermore. And may all of God's people say... Could you put your hands together for the pastor this morning? <laughs> Brother Burl Hilton, who bring the word of Almighty God. God's wonderful people, have a good day. If you are leaving, leaving quietly. And it is time for Sunday school. God bless you all. Members of the men's choir, please meet your director at the back.